Hi, welcome to Medicare Explained NC. Sponsored by BenefitCare.com. In this session, we'll explain the basics of Medicare Part D prescription drug coverage for plans offered in 2023. In this session, you will learn about the four ways drugs are covered in Medicare, the Part D late enrollment penalty, the two types of Part D prescription drug coverage, which drug types are required to be included and excluded from a prescription drug plan, a Part D drug formulary, three ways certain drugs are accessed and managed, five formulary tiers. In addition, you'll learn about the two types of pharmacy networks, the four drug coverage phases, which expenses are included in or excluded from the true out-of-pocket costs, what to do if your prescription changes, what is a formulary exception, the Medicare star rating system and how it affects Part D drug plans, how IRMA surcharges can increase your prescription drug costs. Finally, two ways the Inflation Reduction Act changes 2023 drug plans. So, how are drugs covered under Medicare? Medicare-approved drugs are covered in four different ways. First, Medicare Part A, hospital insurance, covers drugs filled at a pharmacy in a hospital or skilled nursing facility. Second, Medicare Part B medical insurance, covers drugs typically administered in a doctor's office. These include vaccines and infusions. Third, Medicare Part C Advantage plans, with Part D prescription drug coverage. These plans include drugs covered by both original Medicare Part A and Part B, plus Part D. Not all Advantage plans include Part D prescription drug coverage. Finally, Medicare Part D prescription drug plans. These standalone drug plans offer prescription drug coverage only. So, when can you sign up for Medicare prescription drug coverage? To get a Medicare Part D standalone prescription drug plan, you must first enroll in either original Medicare Part A or Part B. Typically, you have a Part D drug plan when you have chosen to stay on original Medicare. To get prescription drug coverage through a Medicare Advantage plan, you must first enroll in both original Medicare Part A and Part B. Then switch to a Medicare Advantage Part C plan with prescription drug coverage. Regardless of which Part D plan you choose, you must live in the plan service area. Medicare wants everyone turning age 65 to have prescription drug coverage. Even if you're currently not taking any prescription medications. If you don't sign up when you're supposed to, Medicare will assess a monthly surcharge on the number of months you didn't have Medicare Part D or other creditable drug coverage. Also, there are only certain times of the year you can sign up for Medicare Part D coverage. Once you've signed up for Original Medicare, you can choose which Part D drug option you'd like. A standalone drug plan, to go with your Original Medicare Part A and or Part B. Or, included as part of a Medicare Advantage plan. Both types of drug plans are structured the same way as required by Medicare. Including, prescription annual deductibles, formulary requirements, drug tiers, coverage phases, and true out-of-pocket costs. Remember, your costs for prescription drugs are not included in your medical out-of-pocket costs. All Medicare Part D drug plans are required to offer drugs in these six protected classes, plus all commercially available vaccines, except those covered under Medicare Part B, such as flu and COVID vaccines. However, not all drugs are required to be covered by Medicare Part D drug plans. Drugs excluded include drugs for controlling weight, lifestyle drugs, fertility, cosmetic, vitamins, and most over-the-counter drugs. So, let's start with the drug formulary. A formulary is a list of drugs, both generic and brand name, that are selected by an insurance company as the drugs they prefer to treat specific health conditions. This list is created by a committee of pharmacists and physicians from various medical specialties. They evaluate and select new and existing medications to be included in a formulary. Selections are based on each drug's therapeutic class, which is a group of medications known to treat a particular health condition. Insurance companies can change the drugs that they cover in their formulary. For example, they can switch from a brand name drug to a generic one. If your drug plan makes formulary changes during the year, you have certain rights depending on why the plan made the change. Specifically, if your plan is making maintenance changes, they must give you 60 days notice or provide you with a 60-day transition refill. If your drug is not part of the formulary, you may have to pay the full retail price for your drug. Medicare requires all drug plans to include a process for requesting a formulary exception. Many Part D drug plans have ways to manage access to certain prescription drugs. They include prior authorization, step therapy, 
or quantity limits. Check with your health plan on specifics. Once a drug plan formulary is created, it then assigns each drug to one of five cost-sharing tiers. Starting from lowest cost to highest, is tier 1 preferred generics. Then tier 2 generic. Then tier 3 preferred brand. Next, is tier 4 non-preferred drugs, then tier 5 specialty drugs. A drug plan may move drugs from one tier to another. So, it's important to check each Part D drug plan to see if your specific prescription drug is available in their formulary, and on which tier and cost. When the preferred drug in your plan's formulary is not working for you, you may request a tier exception. A tier exception is when you request that a higher cost non-preferred drug that may work better for you, be moved to a lower cost sharing tier. You can request a tier exception when the plan's preferred drug may not be as effective, or may have adverse effects, or both. Check your plan's website to see if the specific drug you need is in the formulary, at what tier, and cost. Your plan should have information, on how to apply for a tier exception. Your physician can help you apply. Part D drug plans negotiate prices with pharmacies on the prescription drugs they offer. Your out-of-pocket costs may be less if you use their preferred pharmacy networks. Otherwise, you may pay more for your prescription drugs by using a standard, non-preferred pharmacy network. Check the plan to see which pharmacies are preferred. The amount you pay for prescription drugs may change over a calendar year, depending on the prescriptions you take, and the total cost of your drugs. So, now let's take a look at the four different cost-sharing phases found in a typical Medicare Part D prescription drug plan for year 2023. When it comes to the cost-sharing of drugs, all Medicare Part D drug plans are structured the same way. The retail cost of each drug is shared four ways. By you, the beneficiary. The Part D drug plan. The drug manufacturers. And Medicare. The percentage each of these pays changes as you go through each cost-sharing phase throughout the calendar year. So, what are the four drug cost-sharing phases in a Medicare Part D drug plan? They are, the standard annual deductible. The initial coverage phase. The coverage gap, previously known as the donut hole. And, the catastrophic coverage phase. As your total drug costs increase throughout the year, chances are you'll enter one or more, of these phases. So, let's take a look at the cost-sharing amounts for each of these phases for calendar year 2023. The first cost-sharing phase is the standard annual deductible. In calendar year 2023 the deductible is $505. Not all plans include this yearly deductible. Many plans waive this amount on certain generic drugs to encourage compliance. Next, after the annual deductible is reached, then you enter the initial coverage phase. This is where you pay 25% of the retail cost of a drug, and the Part D drug plan pays the remaining 75%. You generally stay in this phase until the total drug costs in calendar year 2023 reaches $4,660. Once you reach $4,660 in calendar year 2023, then you enter the coverage gap phase. During this phase, you pay 25% of the cost of brand name drugs, or pay 25% of generics. The Part D drug plan pays 5%. The remainder is covered by a 70% manufacturer's discount on covered brand name drugs. As the total amount of your drug costs go up, once you reach a true out-of-pocket costs of $7,400, then, you go straight into the catastrophic coverage phase. During this cost-sharing phase, Medicare pays most of your covered prescription drugs. All you pay is 5% of the retail cost, or a co-pay of $4.15 for generics, or $10.35 for brand-name drugs, whichever is higher. You generally stay in this phase for the remainder of the 2023 calendar year. Once a new calendar year begins, you start over. So, what's included in the true out-of-pocket amount? It includes your annual deductible, all your co-pays and co-insurance, in both the initial coverage, and coverage gap phases. Plus drug company discounts. Plus, any financial assistance from Medicare Extra Help Programs or the State Pharmaceutical Assistance Program. For more information about your true out-of-pocket amount, look on your explanation of benefits, or on your MyMedicare.gov account. So, what costs are not included in the true out-of-pocket? They are, Part D plan premiums. IRMA surcharges. Non-formulary medications not covered by you drug plan. Bonus drugs from supplemental plans. Medications not covered by your Medicare Part D drug plan. For example, over-the-counter drugs, or drugs covered by other parts of Medicare, like Medicare Part A or Part B. Or drugs purchased through other pharmacy discount programs like GoodRx. 
or, drugs purchased outside of the United States, or payments made by other prescription drug programs. Like employer group health plans, the VA, TRICARE, or workers' compensation. So, it is important to get the drug formulary from the Part D plan's website or service center. If a new drug is not in the plan's formulary, you may request an exemption, or pay full price. You can also ask your doctor for an alternative drug. Or you can change to another Part D drug plan once a year. Medicare Part D prescription drug plans must comply with requirements allowing beneficiaries to request a formulary exception when the insurance company determines that the request is medically necessary. Your doctor can help you with any required documentation. Every year each Medicare Part D prescription drug plan is given a star rating by Medicare from 2 to 5 stars, with 5 being the highest. Higher ratings means additional quality bonus payments from Medicare. So, it's important for Part D plans to keep their star ratings as high as possible. Higher income earners will pay more for Part D prescription drug coverage. It's called the Income Related Monthly Adjustment Amount, or IRMA. The surcharge is based on your tax return from two years ago, and your modified adjusted gross income. The more you earned, the more the surcharge. The monthly surcharge is in addition to your monthly premium for your Part D prescription drug plan, or your Part C Medicare Advantage plan that includes Part D drug coverage. Typically, these surcharges are paid in one of two ways, either billed by Medicare once per quarter, or deducted from your monthly Social Security check. To learn more about IRMA, see our video on 2023 IRMA Explained. You may be eligible for extra help with your prescription drugs through the Social Security website or your state's pharmaceutical assistance program. The 2022 Inflation Reduction Act introduces a couple of changes to the 2023 prescription drug plans. It eliminates cost sharing for certain vaccines and sets a $35 cap on cost sharing for insulin in Parts D and Part B. More significant changes to Medicare drugs will come in future years. For more information about all available Medicare options, search for Medicare information at official government websites or contact us at BenefitCare.com. Look for more videos on Medicare Basics on our YouTube page and on our Facebook page at BenefitCare or on our website at BenefitCare.com.